Dr. Sean. Overwatch is a game that came out around three years ago, and it has opened itself to a wide variety of gamers due to the cast of characters in the game. You've got PTSD Bot, Planet of the Ape, Robomunk, Sentient Xbox, Wakandan DJ, and many more. It has little to no story elements in the game because it gets boring and Blizzard hates you. Uh, the game's many different heroes and heroines are the main selling point of Overwatch, but it will always be a team-based game. You must work and communicate with your team in order to win. You can't go off on your own and expect to wipe out the whole enemy team in the first 30 seconds of the game. It's your bastion. There are three classes of heroes. Tank, support, and damage. They're all pretty self-explanatory. But the characters have unique abilities, which have cooldown along with an ultimate ability that has to charge after each use. Every character has different charge times that can charge faster by doing damage, healing yourself and up teammates, or standing on objectives. So be sure to test out each character before you try playing them. In team-based games, there are always objectives. Each map has their own type of objective. Control, capture, payload, and payload capture. Control points are basically where you have to control the area you're in and keep the other team from capturing it. If they do, they have to do the same. Capture is where one team defends two objective points and the other team has to capture both. Payload is about moving a vehicle from one end of the map to another. And finally, Capture Payload is just a combination of capture and payload, where you have to capture a point and then push the payload that's in that point. Now there's a thing an enemy can do called contestant, where one of them hops on the objective and keeps progress from being made. Even a second of contesting could mean winning or losing for either team. Now on characters. Because of time constraints, I'll just be giving two characters and some details. Bastion is an Omnicor robot that was supposedly deactivated after a war called the Omnicrisis, but was reawoken later due to an unknown reasons. Bastion can switch from his recon mode, which you start with, and his sentry mode, which keeps you still, but allows you to turn your enemies into his cheese. His ultimate is turning into a powerful tank that allows him to just blow enemies straight to the stratosphere. Uh, Genji is a Japanese ninja that was turned into a cyborg after he was scarred horribly by his brother Hanzo, who didn't agree with the Shimano Clan's goals. His primary fire is shooting three shurikens out in quick succession, and then three at once in a sort of spread. He's also got a sword dash and a deflect, which are exactly what they sound like, and his ultimate is a melee attack that does a lot of damage. In conclusion, Overwatch is a game with very little story but many different characters. All of them have unique backstories and abilities. Anyway, this was Dylan, and back to your Blue Devil News.